うんカップフード quite lovely ああ、right. Not as lovely as I'd like it to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going down. As you can see, I'm coming around to the idea of the new country here. Uh, of America. I just went and saw The Avengers. That's a good movie. I particularly liked The British Fellows. Now, I know you're asking yourself which British Fellows was in that movie. But they were there, you just couldn't see them. Only a person with a classically trained British ear would have seen them. Fred! My good friend. Yeah. Do we have a new wallet today? Uh, yeah. Well, are you going to give it to me so that people can crash the wallet on wallet crashes? I forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm sorry, we're wallet crashes. And I'm Mr. Levi Leather. As you can see, this is the third episode without my lovely assistant. What was her name? I don't know, anyhow. Well, moving right on, um, I also wanted to say a, a strong apology to Mr. Big Rigger from Toe Jam, Kentucky. We, we went a strong offer of thanks for sending your wallet in, and I'd also like to issue a thanks to Mr. Thane Pole of Royal Floridian Descendancy for sending in his wallet the episode before that. Now, any contents of your wallets that you wish to be returned to you... We have the contact information of the people who bought your wallet. <laughs> Moving right along. Fred, where is that wallet? If I have to ask again, I'm going to replace you with a squirrel who does a unicycle. That's what I thought. This is a pretty stuffed wallet, Fred. Who does this come to us from today? Uh, Jar Edmund. <laughs> Jar Edmund. As you can see, Jar Edmund is a lethal threat. Let's see what sort of threatening surprises lie in his wallet. Excuse me, that cat food is really giving me gas. We got a lighter. Don't let this around my buttocks when that cat food really kicks in. Of course, it's about used up. It appears Mr. Mr. Jar Edmund, he uses it quite a lot. Now this seems to be quite an interesting assortment here. Mr. Edmund appears to be very busy. He very quite is is quite threatening with this mini and its extra strength. I must add, this is not for children. This is definitely going to be a late night special with all these rubbers. Last time I seen that much rubber is around me father's 64 Chevy. On the tires. Big rims, they called him. Here's a knife. It's quite a thick knife, as you can see there, so it gives off that lethal, threatening uh, uh, diplomacy. It kind of, it's kind of loose there. Probably like whoever got hit with these puppies. Um, again, late night special people, I must apologize. Once it gets this late and I've had cat food and alcohol in me, my brain just goes to places it shouldn't go. It goes right down the pooper. I'm gonna need one of these from my skull later. Keep all that nastiness out. Or in, rather, sorry. A lens cleaning wipe. It says, to Tola Limpia Lintes. It probably goes with those to clean off, clean off the lens. <laughs> Wink. Oh, we got a yellow little paper here. How to use? <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> this is a how to use paper for these puppies. Mr. Edmund has come quite prepared to sell his wallet to you. He's really, it's really a life starter kit, really. I mean, if you're lost out in the woods or lost on an island with you and just another person, really, you need these, you need some lens queen cleaning wipe, this to start a fire, this to cut open anything you need to cut open. You open the square, drop your pants, unroll the product like it's a finely rolled the joint being taken apart. Enjoy. 
one can only imagine the meaning of enjoyment. Dispose of product, leave without being seen. And in case you're seen, no witnesses. My Uncle Fred always said, the best witness is a dead witness. And he would know he was killed after witnessing a murder. Show place cinemas, audio, audio, auditorium number three, Hansel and Gretel. I lived next to a Hansel and Gretel back in the Queen's country. How amazing, they got a movie. They could have invited me. Of course, they never liked me ever since I wrecked Hansel's bike and I screwed Gretel. Republic. It appears he's Republican. State mortgage. Mortgage. A loan originator. This is the person who invented the loan. This is history, people. He is truly prepared for anything. If you're on an island, you're prepared to create life, start a fire, and sell a house. I'm beginning to enjoy this Mr. Edmund's wallet. We truly thank you, sir, for your kindness and support to the rest of the world. We have a Greyhound ticket. If you can't make it on the island with all these tools, get a bus ride out of there. Where's this Greyhound ticket going? Any, any clues here? Let's see here. It doesn't say. It's time and gate, but it is. Oh, wait, here, what is this? 214, 849, 80. I can't tell you that. That's personal information. It's probably someone he met on the bus. Phone number. Need I remind you what Mr. Edmonds capable of lethal threatening? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what have we here? Cumberland Falls Highway, Speedway 541. He just checked his balance. A balance of $147. I'm a smiley. Of course, you got that kind of money if you're raising child support on... Well, actually, he's saving that money on child support. You can have $147 in your bank account if you use a couple of these puppies every now and then. I got five kids, can't afford any of them. I sent two off to Spain, and the three others, I, I kept at home, I love my children. Bugles, nachos, and a cherry coke. It, enjoy, if it appears he enjoys fine dining. It's quite nasty. <clears throat> Danville Cinemas, he went to see in auditorium number five. He went to see Olympus has fallen. I had a cousin who went to Greece once. He met Hercules. No, it was a serial killer named Her Kilhees. Anyway, let's see what else is in this wallet. There's a Wendy's card. Now hiring. Ooh, if you're looking for a job on the island where you're saving kids and starting fires, you can get a job at Wendy's. Flip some burgers, kids. Pee pee long socking awaits. Ooh, we have a fortune cookie. Well, not a cookie, clearly, but a fortune. Passion is in all great searches and is necessary to all creative endeavors. I believe that sums up Mr. Edmund's wallet right there. Creative endeavors and passion. I mean, it's, it's all there. It's all here before you. I mean, what more could you want other than what is this? There is one last piece of information. I assume it's the last thing here. Yeah. Oh, it bit me. Oh, wait, no, here it is. There's something else. It bit me. He has a rusty old ring. Olympus limbs. Zoom, I don't know, but it's nasty. And maybe he proposed to someone with an S sentimental value. Another, another fortune. <laughs> By Jove, he's full of fortunes. If we only knew the real value of the day. The real value of the day is Mr. Edmund's wallet in this case. Wouldn't you say? Or maybe you wouldn't say if you thought it was threatening. Let's open up this letter to see the final content of Mr. Edmund's wallet. Sorry, I got really bored. He he he, I... I okay, what is this? What this is, what this is, everyone? Great grammar. It appears there's a ghost named John, and he says, 
goes. Oh, sorry. And he says, life, light, L L Lucifer. His name is John Lucifer. Um, it says, haha, ha, you're silly, Sam. No, I'm not. Dean, it appears they seem to be, have some connection to a Sam and Dean. I don't know what kind of guys those are, but they, they appear to be, be masks. Sam and Dean do. They appear to be a, a happy mask and a sad mask. It appears Dean is the happy mask and Sam is the sad one. It's quite a touching story about two masks, Sam and Dean, one happy, one sad. I want to suck your blood, hey, 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 just in time for Halloween, what did you think? And the other one says, finally, Luke, I am your father, no, oh, 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 exclamation point. Seems like an awful lot of O's for only one exclamation point, don't you think? The other one says, I'm so bored. Um, and the last part says, help me. At last we learned the truth of Mr. Edmund. His entire wallet, the condoms, the Greyhound ticket, the rusty old ring and the how-to guide was all just a desperate cry for help. For help. Today, Mr. Edmund's wallet and all of its contents can be yours for only an easy payment what is this here? We have found something else. A purple one! Wow. We had one last little surprise in store for us after all. Ah, oh, and over the, here's of course his picture. We all want to show you his picture. Cover up that information. Look at Mr. Edmund today. Doesn't he look like a man that would use all this rubber? The only man I've seen with more rubber than that was the Michelin man. And even he was crying for help. So be a doll, won't you? Help Mr. Edmund, that poor soul. Help him on his lonely island preparedness guide and buy his wallet today. One easy payment of $5.95. And Mr. Edmund's wallet, all of its contents, the how-to guide included, can be yours for an easy, easy, easy payment of $5.95. But there's more. Order now today. Today. And we will include a bowl full of cat food, partially eaten by me, and a can of cherry pop fully drinking by me if you order in the next 10 minutes. This combo deal won't last long and neither will my bowels. So, call quickly.